Okay, we're going to show you how to do a neuromuscular deficit test here. So again, we'll click on the Bluetooth. Um, channel 1 always goes to the involved extremity. So channel 1 is always the involved, and that's the one that will be contracting first. So go to settings, and you need to switch it from single to dual channel. Do that. And then we'll go to the channel settings and try to get that even. So we're going to put this one at 1,000. And um, the other one is set at 1,000. So you want channel 1 and channel 2 to be at the same settings. So I go anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500. And for a real, real healthy patient who's doing well, you might go up to 2,000 on the settings. And then you just hit the save button here. And all you have to do at this point is go back and hit the neuromuscular deficit test. It takes it just a second to load. So you can just hit it one time and it loads up. So what's going to happen here is we're going to do three trials or three contractions. <clears throat> and we'll start with this leg. And when that arrow lights up, Okay, I want you to tighten up and hold it as hard as you can until the arrow, you know, illumination goes off. And then we'll come back on in a few seconds and go off. And we'll do that three times on this, three times on the other side. Leave the leg flat. Don't yep, I want you flat. to just tighten it up and force your knee straight. Okay, so just hit the play button and it'll automatically do the calculation for you. Okay, tighten up, squeeze as hard as you can, keep squeezing, squeeze hard, 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 rest. So it's like a three second trial, or maybe five seconds. Tighten up again, pull hard, 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 and relax. And one more time when it lights up, tighten up, squeeze hard as you can, so we're getting 13, 14, 1500 there, and relax. Then it automatically switches to the other side and we'll do the normal side. Squeeze hard, 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 hard as you can. Hard, 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 and relax. So we're like two weeks post-op, right? Yep. Squeeze hard, and he's doing really well. Squeeze hard, 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 and relax. And the last one. Squeeze hard as you can. Hard, 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 and relax. And so he's got a 45% deficit, which is really good for two weeks post-op. He had arthroscopic debridement of his knee. So this is a way for you to objectify, you know, what the electrical system is doing. This is not measuring strength. This is actually measuring your EMG activity. And for me, that's why biofeedback is better than muscle stem because you can actually measure, especially with our device, um, how the patient's doing neurologically. And until you get this back, I predict probably in three or four weeks, you'll have this back to 100% of normal. But this is one way that there's no other device in the clinic where you can measure EMG activity because it's all about recruiting all these little motor units. And the more motor units you have, the more EMG activity and the bigger your muscle can be.